Hi there, Release Fight here, so I've finally made it up to King Boo, the final boss in Luigi's Mansion 3. It is this epic boss fight on top of the hotel. He's pretty tough, but I managed to take him down, and I'm going to talk you through how to beat it yourself. Hopefully the video is going to help you out. If it does, drop me a like below, but it starts out by dropping electricity on the tiles, so you just need to look for one of the tiles that are not kind of glowing land on that, run towards them as fast as possible, and that will keep you from taking damage. And that's the main thing that you kind of want to do. You want to take as little damage as possible. So when it does this tongue move, you want to just keep on running and stay out of the way. And then when it swishes across the ground, you just need to do a burst to jump on over it. And then it moves into its next attack, which is to throw lava balls at you. Now you can use burst move to deflect them in the uh, in the opposite direction just a little bit, so it doesn't throw them entirely in the opposite direction. It just kind of nudges them to the right and to the left, depending on where you're standing, but it's an easy way to ensure, again, you take zero damage. And then this is kind of what you're looking for, but it's not so easy to grab one of these bombs, turn and face Boo, and fire it into its mouth. But that's exactly what you need to do. However, it doesn't give you too much room, so you need to look at what attacks it might be doing, and in this case, it was the electricity in the floor, so you needed to get off the tiles that were glowing. Now, if you didn't manage to get it with the first bomb, you just have to cycle through the phases once again, so deflect all of these, and what you're looking to do is give yourself another opportunity to pick up one of the bombs. And the good news is that it kind of doesn't do the entire range of its moves. So you don't need to wait quite as long for another opportunity to get one of the bombs. So you can see after doing the electricity and the fireballs, it's gone back to throwing one of these. And the aim is, again, to get the bomb that isn't flashing as much, turn and face Boo and fire it into his mouth. Once he gets that in his mouth, obviously he's going to take a bit of damage and he lolls on the ground, giving you a chance to grab his tongue with the poltergust. But you can't do anything with it until you've got both Luigi and Guigi on it. So you've got to bring out Guigi as well and then you've got to press A and smash him and that is the first of the three big hits. You need to land on King Boo in order to be able to beat him. And once you've landed the first one, it does this thing where it splits into two. So it's kind of double jeopardy. Everything that you've kind of seen before is doubled up. So you get one crack at the electricity. You've got to find a tile that isn't glowing. And then you get a second one. This one's kind of probably the easiest move to get out of the way of. And then it starts to do the next of its moves. And this is a new one, which is landing down. And you need to do the burst to jump over the impact of the second of the boos. And the reason for that is because the second of the boos is actually the real boo. The first of them isn't real boo. It's the fake boo. And you need to bear that in mind for later on in the game when you're trying to actually land some damage on it. And then it goes into its next attack, which is the fireballs, which are doubled up. And I found the best thing to do was to just kind of stand in the middle and burst if anything came near me. So I didn't really move too much. I just sort of stood in the middle, burst to deflect everything out of my way. And I made it through that entire thing without taking any damage. And then it starts lolling its tongue out. Now it's hard to predict with two of them but what you're trying to do is just run and watch for when it does a spin. You can see them spinning relatively easily, but unlike the last time, it does this move where it spins a tongue, and what you're looking to do is duck under it at the right time when the flick end of the tongue is at its top. Now, I only managed to get out of the way of the first one, but it did mean that I didn't take a great deal of damage to get through this, uh, this second phase, and again, what you're looking to do is pick up the bomb that isn't, uh, isn't flashing as much, However, you can see it doesn't really give you a great deal of time on this go and you've got to go back to being defensive and getting out of the way of getting attacked. But just like the first phase, it is just the short second, uh, second stint of attacks that it does after the first one. So it does the lightning, but it only does one of them. And then after the lightning, you've just got to stay out of the way of the fireballs once again. And then you'll get another chance of, uh, of going after the bombs. So you need to just stand in the middle wait for the uh, the fireballs to come, deflect them if they get too close. Like you could just stand in the middle there and stay out of the way of everything in that particular part. 
and then it's into the drops. So it throws these in, and then what you're looking to do is to pick up the one that is, uh, is not ticking so much. Now it's not so easy, you can see I only managed to get the second one kind of with a lucky hit over on the left hand side and my best tip for that is you kind of want to get it as soon as possible so as soon as you see it vaguely targeting it just fire and then as soon as King Boo is down you want to get Luigi and Guigi to do some more of the A smashes and that is the second of the big hits and that triggers off the third and final phase of this final boss fight in Luigi's Mansion 3 where, uh, where King Boo kind of gets really angry and starts to do some crazy things with the hotel and all of this can kind of unsettle you and make you expect that the final phase is going to be really really difficult but actually there's a way to make it super easy and I'm going to talk you through it now essentially what you need to do is keep your composure don't run around like a crazy person and be ready for the attacks. So this time it splits into three, but it's not the same as before. Yes, it does the uh, it does the electricity move, but it only does one of them, and then it throws three of the uh, three of the bomb nuts into the air, and you get loads of bombs falling down. Now instead of running around too much, what you want to do is to be expecting the bombs. Have the poltergeist on while you're facing Boo in the middle. And then as soon as you get one, let go, release and fire and that should get it straight away, allowing you to do this final big smash and you can just let the poltergeist finish him off. And that is everything that you need to know about taking down and beating King Boo, the final boss in Luigi's Mansion 3. Like I said earlier, hopefully the video helps you out. If it does, drop me a like below as ever, all of your help is massively, massively appreciated. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left hand side and hit that bell button if you want to get notifications for all of my videos as they come out. You can see the rest of my guide on Luigi's Mansion 3 with the links on the right hand side. If you want to relive any of the moments in the game, leave any comments below. Let me know how you get on against King Boo and I will catch you next time.